What is going on, everybody? This is Degan from D Network, and welcome to the sixth episode of Yu Gi Oh! The Sacred Cards Walkthrough. Alright, so I did just a little bit of grinding. Um, beat everybody on the beach that I missed, and went back and dueled Weevil a couple of times just to get my deck capacity up so I didn't have to like replace anything uh, or compensate for Revival Jam, which we got from uh, the stupid mine guy. One was Slifer, yes, that dude. So our, our deck looks good. Now before we continue on with the story, I just want to go to the shop real quick and point out some of the cards that uh, I really think could help you in endgame um, if you've given time to look through everything, which which I kind of did. Uh, I'm just going to organize this by cost. Now, um, I don't know about these because, you know, my duelist level is too low, but Based on what we have, swords, you could get swords, but it's it costs 200. Uh, I don't think it's worth it, especially if you have other cards that are better um, that could just, you know, have a higher attack point. My strategy with this game is just to have a good beatdown strategy. Uh, you know, swarm, raise up with, uh, you know, monsters that, or monsters that has effects that level, uh, power up and then you just beat down your enemy and keep in mind that dark monsters tend to have an advantage in this game because of the uh, modified terrain so that's that's something to keep in mind now I think harpy lady was cool I wanted to do like a harpy lady and bring that into my deck however I don't see harpy's pet dragon anywhere right now so that's definitely not good and Lily the injection angel doesn't have a, her normal effect 2k points for 3,000 uh, extra attack. How unfortunate because that would have been in my deck immediately. This is one of the cards that I'm talking about that you should consider bringing to end game. I'm actually considering it very much. It's a lower cost than uh, Revival Jam, which is great. Um, and this right here is like Doron. It pretty much summons uh, an extra monster, and the extra monster happens to be Genie of the Lamp. And I haven't used Gen Genie of the Lamp, it's La La Jin. I don't see him in here anywhere. Um, it should be up here somewhere. But I don't see him at all. So I don't know what type of monster he is, but I'm betting it's dark. And like I said before, dark monsters such as these right here, they have an advantage in this game. So I will definitely think about bringing... Um, Ancient Lamp, and I'm actually going to buy it right now. Another card that I would consider bringing is right here, this uh, Mammoth of the Graveyard. It is dark already, so that's a plus. Uh, the cost isn't too high. It is 121, so, you know, it could get a little hairy. But, it actually uh, gives a negative one power, or, you know, it, yeah, negative one power to all the enemy's monsters. So that's actually really good. If you're in deep trouble and you happen to have Mammoth Graveyard, use it and their monster could be, you know, it could be like 1300 or, well, 1500 let's say, and then it could go down to 1000. That could definitely help you out. I, I'm going to buy one just in case. Other than that, there are a couple of different monsters that you can use, like Trap Master. This will give you a free Acid Trap Hole. I think this one right here brings every monster and drowns them, so I'm guessing it's like a Dark Hole. I just don't really care for it. Um, you know, there's other monsters that are better. This right here will give you uh, 500 life points, Lady of Faith. And you can even use all these little equip cards. This will uh, level up someone by one. So 500. I just think there are better options than to waste 100 on this. I would rather waste 100 on something like Regeki uh, than a power up. You could use M Warrior um, 1 and 2. They can power each other up, which is great. It's like Swamp Battle Guard and Lava Battle Guard. But honestly, I'd rather have Swamp Battle Guard and Lava Battle Guard because M Warrior 1 is it is a thousand attack, but M Warrior 2 is only 500. Um, that that's not good enough for me. Let's just say I have M Warrior 1 on the field. I summon M Warrior 2, use its effect. This will be 1500. Great, but it doesn't power him up. It only powers up the other one, so it's not good enough for me. 
Um, I just think it's a waste of time and a waste of money and a waste of energy to even think about it. Uh, there are some monsters like Curse of Dragon that could change the the uh, field into whatever the hell it wants, like Wasteland, for example. Um, don't stay away from that. It, I don't think it matters too much. Um, you're dealing with preset fields, so you know it. it it doesn't matter. Doron is really good, like I've mentioned before, but when you get Revival Jam, it's pretty much an overpowered Doron. So I, I recommend replacing Dorons with Revival Jams, uh, you know, throughout the game. Uh, I just can't purchase any yet, but I did get one from beating the uh, Strings guy. Other than that, this is one more monster that I would consider getting. It is Nimariko. This is something that I carried with me in my previous playthrough at, at Endgame, and it pretty much puts to sleep all the monsters on the opponent's side of the field, which is awesome. It, it's freaking cool because it can't do shit for a turn. Um, the only problem with it is it's, it's extremely weak, so I, it was the weakest monster I had. Um, you know, so it's something that I'm, I'm considering right now. But they do have six in the shop, so I could purchase maybe three. Um, we have all the money in the world, so it doesn't matter. This is another card that I'm actually going to buy. This is something that I will bring to endgame. Dark Necrofear is great. It uh, it pretty much targets one one of your opponent's monsters. The effect of monsters under the player's control, which is awesome. So I'm actually going to purchase this now, and it's only 58 costs. It's great. Two is perfectly fine with me. I don't need any more than that. You could even purchase Final. Uh, this is the Destiny Board cards. Um, however, it's just a waste of space. You're not guaranteed to get five. It's like Exodia. Um, you just have to wait everything out. And it together, that's 250 points of your uh, deck capacity. So don't get it. Like I said before, you can get Hourglass of Life. This is a definite card that you should have in every freaking deck. Um, in this specific game and then you have Hoshiningen uh, to power up uh, Hourglass of Life but like I said before light monsters tend to have a disadvantage because of the dark field so I would stay away from that uh, instead just carry Hourglass of Life um, it, it would do a good job other than that let's see do we have oh yes Parasite Parasite is something that I just noticed I've um, when I was dueling Weevil, he actually used Parasite on one of my tributed monsters and he replaced that monster with Parasite Parasite. So this is something that I would recommend getting just in case there's a troubled monster that you can't deal with, Parasite will replace it and you can kill Parasite. So I'm going to purchase that right now. And that is about it. Um, oh yes, you could use stuff like Widespread Ruin, this is great. Trap card that dead, uh, that is deadly to any monster that attacks it, so it destroys the attacking monster uh, no matter what. However, there there is a better cost-effective one. It is Acid Trap Hole. It's, uh, it's deadly to any monster that attacks it, so 3,000 or less. Most mobs in this game are 3,000 or less anyway, um, so why not? I'm going to buy one of these. Replace uh, bear trap with that because I have two in my deck meaning I should probably uh, Purchase one widespread ruin to replace um, That with stop defense is going to leave my deck And that's it that's all the cards that are good Thus far I mean, I will keep checking back with the shop, but let's go ahead and uh, deal with some of the the choices here. Ah, oh, Mammoth Graveyard, yes, 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 yes. So I can, for example, get rid of Polygra and take in Mammoth Graveyard. Of course, I need a little bit more uh, deck capacity to do that, uh, which is very unfortunate. So maybe Rukishin has to go sucks. I wish I had more Swamp Battle Guards and Lava Battle Guards. Those would be a great addition to the deck. Um, I do have Kaminari Attack. That's that's good for what we're about to do next. I need Nemericos in here. So I'm going to remove all of the... Let's see. 
uh, return a chunk. Everything that's okay, that's one. Uh, I need Penguin Soldier right now. And Dark Necrofear is a two, two sacrifices. So let's go to, where's our two sacrifice cards? Uh, that is stars. We have Skull Knight, which I actually really want to keep. But right now I can't, so I'm going to have to return this to Trunk and deal with this 2205. Oh, damn. Shit, hold on. That's not good. So I need about 30 points. Wow. Alright, I'll settle for... I'll settle for this now. 14 points. I can definitely squeeze out 14 points somewhere. Uh, Pumpkin. I can replace Pumpkin with something else. This Pumpkin costs a lot. It does have 2,000 defense, which is something that I really like about it. Um, where is my Pumpkin King of Ghosts? Right here. Yeah, 86. Uh, return to Trunk and maybe 79. This is probably a good idea as well. Yeah, let's go with Goddess of Whim. Ah, oh, fucking 7. You're be kidding me, man. 72. This is going to be... Ah, oh, perfect. I don't like that card, though. It doesn't help my cause. Oh, the next one's going to be Nemoriko. Okay, let's get rid of this dude. And go with Nemoriko. Cool. So, our deck is complete. Uh, I spent the last 11 minutes on this. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, let's go to Clockwork Tower and save the game real quick. Alright, I need a warm-up battle to test this out. Let's go to the aquarium and let's just talk to this guy here. Oh, you're a duist? Well, it must be dumb Destiny to move here. Cool. Let's fucking play. So this is the water field and naturally they all have strong 900 uh, 800 cards so with the field it's about 1200 this is what I mean by it could get a little hairy um, the only thing that really will help is him and he's weaker wonderful so we're just gonna have to do something like Nemorico and use the effect fall asleep thank you flying fuck was gone and now we have uh, something to do and we will use which is apprentice bring everything up just a little bit which is apprentice might die next turn but Nemoriko is above the uh, the norm so we are in business wonderful oh yes pot of greed let's see what we can get here uh, metal dragon unfortunate how unfortunate Oh, you fucker. You need an increase. What a dick. Get rid of this guy, and... Should attack with Twin Wong. Oh, I love how Penguin Knight just dominates there. Oh, great. Looks like Nemorico's just gonna have to do all the work. Um, Hourglass of Life would be great about now. That can hold its own at this level as well. It's fucking Skell Angel, man. That's okay, we have a 1300 monster, so... Every turn, we're just gonna have to take some damage until we get Hourglass of Life. Oh, 1235. Okay, that's not good. There you are, Hourglass of Life. Like I said, this is how you win. Uh, 1200 exactly so that's really the only monster that can destroy us not fun hopefully he doesn't have another one good so we have two monsters that we can play with and this is our lifesaver right there uh, we will not summon metal guardian because it will destroy us beat snake Cool. And this turn we will destroy. 
Uh, the snake is gone, and the end. So that was good. Increase by five, and we got Senju of the Thousand Hands. Uh, yeah, don't need this card. Thank you for that. Uh, you got some awfully good cards there. Okay, so based on that, it looks like we're going to need a little bit of work. Um, thunder cards are wanted, so we need to find some sort of thunder card. Um, Kaminari attack, great. Hopefully we have some. Probably don't. Nope, we don't. Great. Fucking okay, 29. Do I have anything that's... Yes, we do. Uh, return the trunk. Parasite, parasite, the deck. And I can afford 20 points. Okay, with that 20 points, I'm going to get rid of stop defense. Where is stop defense? What the hell is this? Dark magician. Oh, okay. Where is stop defense? Uh, return the trunk. Add in something like acid trap hole. Help us out with that. I thought we had widespread ruin. We do have widespread ruin. That's a good card to use. Uh, where's bear trap? We have two. We're gonna take one back and add widespread ruin. Actually, you know what? Bear trap is fine. Fifteen hundred works for me. So we're just gonna leave that to deck. I think that's good. Let's go ahead and continue these fuckers. Check it out, the orc is gigantic, yeah, it's something really huge, unlike your penis. Imagine getting fucked by that thing, bet it hurt, <laughs> good conversation. And here is our final locator card guy, Mako, Kajiki Yota, hey what is it, you wanted to duel me, or were you waiting, wanting my autograph, what the fuck are you talking about bitch, whoa wait. I made a promise to duel a guy. Well, duel after he shows up. Uh, well, what is keeping that blowy wheeler? Oh, you fucker. I forgot that I have to go to the building first. Okay, looks like uh, we're just gonna have to go to the building. Oh, it's mine. Oh, aren't you one of Joey Wheeler's little friends? What a surprise meeting you here. Looks like some good duelists have gathered. But they're all pushovers as far as I'm concerned. Well, let's fucking duel. <laughs> sure, but I'm not bidding locator cards. I've got five of them already, so do I. Next one I'm going to take from his blowy. Oh yeah, so we can duel my. Maybe we can uh, keep on dueling her. Okay, let's use this. Oh yeah, the mountain. Great. Well, dragons definitely get a boost here. And I have a really bad feeling about her uh, her shit, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use Witch's Apprentice. She may be harder than Mako. Um, I really never lost her, so oh great, Harpy's Feminist, you're wonderful. Hey, Dark Hole, nice. Um, I'm going to test it out. Yep, 1040, wonderful. So hers is 800, 900 cards as well, just like Mako. Um, except hers is, you know, this type of terrain, mountain. And she also has wind. Great. So she's the same level as Mako. I find Mako a little bit harder, uh, only because I've, you know, whenever I play this game, I always purchase and collect everything, but after I fight Mako, you know, I don't think about getting everything until then. Uh, this time around, I'll be able to defeat Mako no problem. I usually uh, gather thunder based cards at the shop um, before going to Mako, but I think that's kind of cheap. It's not really fair, in my opinion. Because then you're like guaranteed to win, you know, there's like no challenge there. Um, oh, 8,000 Domino. And we got Harpy Lady. Great. I'd rather have Harpy's pet dragon. You're pretty good. I, I should have gone shouldn't have gone easy on you. I guess you couldn't be weak, come to think. Not if you're friends with Yugi and Blowy. So this guy can we duel again? Next time we duel you're going down. Hoping we can make it in finals. See you. I have to find Blowy. 
So she just leaves after that. And we can, uh, there's Joey right there. What an idiot. Um, we will deal with this one on the next episode. She's like, I have to find Joey. And obviously, she just missed him. Oh, that sucks. Very dramatic there. Anyways, if you have any other uh, questions or comments, please put them in the comment section below. I know this was kind of a weird episode because I spent half the time talking about uh, end game suggestions, but you know, that's very important. I think it's very uh, helpful for everybody to understand hey, this is the type of cards that you want because of this, because of that, and I will be showing you exactly why in the future episodes when we hit that point. So, um, you know. If you don't like that, well, that's just too damn bad. Anyways, feel free to subscribe and make sure you check out some of my other videos as well. Anyways, just, uh, you know, thanks for hanging out with me and have a good day.